Please refer to the ITSM product documentation to view the full guide for onboarding with the ITSM Adapter Service. There are four steps to onboard ITSM Adapter Service. The first is to install the Citrix ITSM Connector plugin in ServiceNow. Then configure the plugin to connect with Citrix Cloud and add your ServiceNow instance to Citrix Cloud. If you have an on-premise site, you can enable your on-premises sites to be managed by ITSM Service. There are some preparations you'll need to have ready before you begin onboarding. You'll need to have a system administrator role in your ServiceNow instance and have an active Citrix Cloud account and have your system admin role. And also you should make sure your ServiceNow instance can connect to the Citrix Cloud IPs in the corresponding regions as shown on screen. Start by logging in to your Citrix Cloud account and make sure you have the ITSM service entitlement available in your console. The Citrix ITSM plugin relies on the orchestration plugin in ServiceNow. In your instance, navigate to Activate Plugin, Search Orchestration, and then activate the plugin if it isn't already. Next, visit the ServiceNow store and search Citrix. Then you will find the Citrix ITSM connector plugin. Select the tile, and once you have the plugin entitled, you can then go to the ServiceNow admin console to install it. In the ServiceNow admin console, search Citrix and you'll see the Citrix ITSM plugin. Make sure you are installing the latest version, click install and wait a few minutes for the installation to complete. After the successful installation, refresh the current page and search Citrix. You will see the Citrix ITSM connector main menu. On the left pane, you'll see the Citrix ITSM console. Select Home and the page provides instructions on how to get started with your Citrix Cloud integration. Click the Connect button to connect your ServiceNow instance to Citrix Cloud. A secure client ID and secret are required. Navigate to your Citrix Cloud admin console to create a secure client for connecting your ServiceNow instance to your Citrix Cloud. Select the hamburger menu, click Identity and Access Management, select the API Access tab, and create a secure client for ServiceNow. You can now copy and paste the ID and secret to the ServiceNow console, test the credentials, and once successful, you can save it. You should see that your ITSM plugin is connecting to your Citrix Cloud. Now your Citrix Cloud environment and customer ID has been connected to your ServiceNow instance. And beginning with version 22.3.0, the ITSM connector supports more than one Citrix Cloud instance to be connected to your single ServiceNow instance. To add another customer ID, click Add Customer and repeat the same process as done with the first customer ID. Now you should have the second customer ID added to the same ServiceNow instance. You should download your secure client for a backup from Citrix Cloud. It may be required when you reinstall and connect the plugin with Citrix Cloud again. To connect your Citrix environment to your ServiceNow instance, from the Citrix Cloud admin console, select Manage on the ITSM adapter for ServiceNow tile. Click the Manage tab and select Add a ServiceNow instance. Here you will need to copy the redirect URL and then navigate to your ServiceNow admin console. In the ServiceNow admin console, find the OAuth endpoint and create a new entry. Here you will be creating a new OAuth endpoint for Citrix Cloud. You can give it a unique name, paste your redirect URL here, and then you can submit. Open the new OAuth endpoint you created and you can now copy your client ID, secret, and ServiceNow instance URL and paste it into here on the Citrix side, the URL, client ID, and secret. Click Connect. You'll then need to allow connection to your instance and save the instance. After testing the connection, you should see that the instance has been successfully added to your Citrix Cloud. Also, if you have on-prem sites, you should have already done site aggregation and your on-prem sites will be listed here. 
You will need to select the three dots and click Manage Credentials to the, allow the on-prem sites to be managed by the Citrix ITSM service. If you have more than one Citrix account, you will just need to log on to that account to add the ServiceNow instance again. Please pay attention to the redirect URL as it might be different for each account. Now, if you go to the Citrix ITSM connector console in the Studio dashboard on the left pane, you will see that the data has been synchronized from your Citrix environment to ServiceNow, such as published applications and desktops, machine catalogs, and delivery groups. You can also view them by different customer IDs and see the different published applications published to each customer ID. If you go to the Services menu on the left pane, you can view the native workflows provided by Citrix. From here, you can try the Citrix native workflows provided by the ITSM adapter service. For more information about this feature and configuration details, please visit our product documentation.